Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be taking you through step-by-step -step on how to build a funnel in ClickFunnels. Woot woot, woot woot. I absolutely love using ClickFunnels. I've been using them for about four and a half years now. And if you don't know what ClickFunnels is, I have a couple videos that I will link down in the description below that you can go check out. So if you don't know what ClickFunnels is, go watch those before hopping onto this video. But if you're here on this video, it means you wanna learn how to build a sales funnel in ClickFunnels, and that's what I'm here to do. I'm not here to waste your time, so let's dive into it. All right guys, so let's jump into ClickFunnels and this is the main dashboard you're gonna see right when you log into your ClickFunnels account. And in order for us to build a funnel, we're gonna come up here to where it says ClickFunnels and select funnels from the drop down menu. Once that's loaded up, we now can see all the funnels we have in our account. Now, if you're new signing up to ClickFunnels or you've just started, you're not gonna see any funnels here, but that's what I'm here to help you with. So what we're gonna do is come up to this big blue button right here that says build a new funnel and select that. And that's gonna open us into a page that looks like this. And it's gonna automatically open up this window for us. So you have a couple options here looking at building a funnel. So first of all, you can do this three-step process that allows you to choose a goal, which is either collect emails, sell your product, or host a webinar. Then it will have you choose a type and then build the funnel. Or you can do a custom funnel, and this is a great option if you already know what you want to do, and you're just looking to build something from complete scratch and you want to do it without any restrictions then this custom funnel button is for you and then if you go here to browse funnel marketplace that will actually take you to an online marketplace that will allow you to buy funnels from other people but we're not going to do any of that what I'm actually going to do is exit out here and look down at all these different funnel types now before I get in and show you guys what funnel we are building, I have to actually decide on a funnel. So what I went and did is I went on to ClickBank and I went and searched for a product so I could demo a funnel for you guys. So I went into the health and fitness and then I'm gonna search for a product I already have in mind because I did some previous research before this and I'm gonna choose this Beauty of Food Natural Beauty product and go ahead and click on that. So this is the website I was looking at and I'm going to build a funnel for this product. I don't own this product, I am not actually selling this product, but I took a look at this website and as you can see, there is a lot of text. And while a lot of text isn't necessarily a bad thing, I wanted to see if I could take this product and build a funnel for it. So this is what the entire page looks like. As you can see, you are scrolling for days. So that's kind of what I'm going to be basing my funnel off of. and what what I want to do is build a sales letter funnel. So the best way to go and just learn what all the different funnels are, you may be looking at all these names going, I don't even know what half these funnels are. The best way to go is grab the Funnel Hackers Cookbook. So you can get a free PDF or if you want the physical copy shipped to you, you just cover shipping. So I'm gonna pull that PDF up right now and I'm gonna build this sales letter funnel. And basically what this Funnel Hackers Cookbook does is just give you information on all the different funnel types, which is such a great resource to have. So this is what I I was thinking for the funnel I'm going to build for you guys today I'm gonna to build this sales letter page and this offer wall so I'm gonna ignore these two pages right here I'm just gonna build you a two page funnel today and that is kind of the idea so now you know the game plan of what we're doing before this video I went and sketched out just a general idea of what I want the funnel to have and the different elements I want and then I also went into canva and built a preview of it for myself so I already knew a great way to start and what I wanted to do and the colors I wanted to utilize. Now, when I actually get into the funnel build, this is going to change a little bit and I'm going to adjust things on the fly, but I went and did that and also grabbed a bunch of the text that I want to use in the funnel. So right when I go into the funnel, I can just essentially plug things in and I pulled that text from this website. So this copy was already here and I'm going to use that in my funnel. So now that we have everything set up, let's jump into it. So I'm going to scroll down here and find the sales letter funnel. So I'm going to go ahead and select funnel and it tells me right here that there's four pages in it. It tells me a little bit about the funnel here and you can see there's a sales letter order form, an OTO page, a downsell, and an offer wall and I'm not going to utilize these two pages right here. I'm just going to use the other ones. 
but that looks great. And then what you can do is go down here and select a template. So as you can see, there's a bunch of free templates you can utilize, or you can go and pay for templates. If you just want the free, you can go ahead and select this button. And let's see, we'll just choose one randomly. Let's do this breeze one. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click get funnel and it is again 100% free this template that I'm using and it's just going to add this funnel right into my account. All right, so now they've loaded up that template into my account. You can see these are the four pages they were talking about with their names, and they already have a template selected for me. And so let's take a look at the settings here for the funnel. So these are the steps that you have. Once your funnel is live, you can check the stats and see how many people are visiting and going through each page. If you collect email addresses or any contact information, that will be listed here. You can also check for your sales for the funnel through this button and let's go over and check out the settings for your funnel. And just to help give you an overview, so this is where you can name your funnel. You can see that is the name up here as well. You can also change the group tags. So this cookbook means I imported this template from the cookbook, but you can change that to be anything so your funnels are organized in your main funnel page. You can add in your domain. If you already have a domain created, you can look at integrating one, or you can create a custom one from within ClickFunnels. This helps with your emails and adding a favicon. If you guys wanna learn what a favicon is and how to add it into your ClickFunnels account, I have a separate video on this channel that I will link down below. And then down here, you can integrate your Stripe account, which is what most of people who are using ClickFunnels run their payments through. And then all the integrations that are available within ClickFunnels. If you want to delete this funnel, that button is there. And if you make any changes in these settings, make sure you go and save and update those settings right there. So that's kind of a general overview of the settings of the funnel. So this is the main page I'm working for. You can see it's highlighted right here. If I go and click on this page, it's going to highlight it and I can see this is the page. And if you wanna edit any page in this funnel, you can do that by clicking on this edit page button. You can delete this funnel step. You can clone this funnel step, which will add an exact clone of that page right here onto your steps, or you can remove from funnel. When you remove this step from a funnel, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it does it will add it down here into these other funnel steps. You can see that's the page I removed from the funnel. So it's not here in the main step. You're not deleting the step, but you're just taking it out from the main system. So customers cannot get to this page unless you created a way for them to do that. Or if you want to delete a funnel step, it's really easy. You can go up here and click the X. It will ask you if you want to delete this funnel step and the test, and I'm gonna go ahead and click okay, because I just want to utilize the two funnel steps that are listed here. So now that we have everything set up and ready to go, let's dive in and start to build our funnel from scratch. All right, guys, so this is what our template looks like and what we have to work with today. So it's not very long, but I'm going to pull up my mock up here and we are going to start creating this bad boy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get rid of this section and I'm going to go and just add a blank section in so it's easier for me to work with. So we're going to add that in and then I'm going to change the background color of this section to white. So you're going to go to BG color, select the color you want, and now you can see it's white compared to this background that they have here. Now in my mock-up, I had this polka dot background, but I actually don't mind this background that they have here on the template, so we are going to keep that. So we're going to add a new row, we're going to add one column, wait for that to load up, click on add new element, and then we are going to add a subheadline. And I'm going to pull up the text I wanted to add here copy and paste that and then we're going to double click to select and then paste that so what i also want to do is i want to now bold that the word attention and then we got to make this color the background color purple so i'm going to go here and then in order to get the color that i want i'm going to go back to the website that we are modeling and i'm going to use my fancy little eyedropper tool. If you guys want a list of digital tools that I use in this video and others, there will be a link to my free PDF down below. So I'm going to grab that color, go back over to my sales page, and then what we're going to do is copy and paste that number and paste it right into here. Now, 
the background is the right color but the text is really hard to see so we're gonna make that white so it stands out and I actually want it to stand out just a little bit more so I'm gonna go into advanced go into drop shadow and do 40 drop shadow so that just gives a shadow on the box I really like that Ooh, I like it muy macho. and one other thing I'm going to do is increase the padding on the bottom so there's a little bit more white space there so now let's pull up my mock-up and now what I need to do is in this section I'm gonna add a new row again it's gonna be one column I'm going to add a new element, and this is going to be a headline. So let's pull up that text again, and this is what we're going to be adding in. And you can see at this point, a lot of it is just dragging and dropping. So let's change the font of this. I like this font, and we're going to increase the font size by moving up this bar. And then I want to give a little bit more white space between these words and the purple box, so we'll do that. Again, let's see, we'll make this 64. All right, now what we're going to do is add an image from the website. So I wanted to add in this be the Beauty of Food, essentially, logo. So I'm going to go in here and click Add New Row, one column. And in this element, I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to select image. So it's going to pull up a blank image element. And so to add in a picture, I'm going to go into the settings for that element, go up to this little picture frame thing, click on that. And then I'm going to go into my folder because I've already downloaded some of the images off of that website. So I'm going to go find uh, that and then I'm going to drag and drop it up into that area and it's going to upload the image for me. So now there's a blue box around it. I can see that it's selected and I'm going to go ahead and click add image. And I want that to be a little bigger. Oh, that's much smaller. So I'm just going to play with the width a little bit. The, the quality of this image is not amazing, but for what I'm showing you guys today, it will suffice. So that's kind of what we got. And you guys saw that I increased the white space on this section, which is the turquoise bordered one. But I want it to be a little bit less, so I'm going to scroll down here and decrease the bottom. And now we're going to move on to our next section. So right here I want an order form and little sneak peek. It would be perfect because this is essentially like a DVD. I could put the image of the book in there, but I've tried, I downloaded this image of the book and uploaded it and it is terrible quality. So we're not going to use that. So what we're going to do is I actually want to have this box stand out a little bit. So again, I'm going to add a shadow to this box around here. And honestly, right now I'm going to just start deleting things and maybe moving things around till it's the way I want it to be. So actually, this is a row right here with the dark blue border. I'm going to go to that plus sign. I'm going to add a new row, which is going to be two columns. And in this new element, I'm going to add in a two-step order form because I want people to be able to order whatever this Beauty of Food book is right here at the start. And then right here, I'm going to add a headline. But before I keep going any farther, what I actually want to do is I'm going to add one more element underneath this Beauty of Food. I'm going to add a headline, and we need to make this the pricing. So what is the price for this ebook? So $7.99. So we are going to do that. We'll do... And then what we'll do is let's go into the settings for that element. And I want to make this text green. Do we like that green or the darker? Ooh, I like the darker. So we'll do that. I want to change the font. So let's do that. And bring it. Should we make it bigger than the beauty of food? One. Hmm. How about that? Just slightly bigger but then than the beauty of food, but smaller than these words right here. So that's what we'll do. So they have the pricing there. Then for this headline right here, let's pull up our copy and let's see. Oh, whoops. This is the wrong text. So that actually has to go there. This up here 
let's see, what did I have in the mock-up? Here's your chance to grab. All right, there we go. So let's switch that out. Here's your chance to grab. Dot, dot, dot. There we go. All right, so that's pretty cool. We'll leave that there for right now. And I want to change the font of this. So I'm going to go here into select font, and I want it to be a little bit more handwriting style-ish, so we're going to do that. I don't want one word to be on a line by itself. We call that orphan word. So I'm going to increase the text so there's more words on both lines. Then what we're going to do is scroll down here, see if there's anything we can use. Um, I like this area right here, but yeah, I'm not going to use any of that. So we'll go into here and click on add new element. I'm gonna scroll down into the text and click bullet list. And this is where all of our bonuses and benefits will be. As you can see, a lot of editing in ClickFunnels is going back and forth and just making sure you have all the right stuff in the right places. So we're gonna go back up here and they have this whole list of things that they will discover, which I like. So we want things that aren't too long and easy to read. So let's add that in. Let's do this one. I like these ones that aren't too long, but they also get people's attention. I like this one. Add that there, and we need one more. All right, let's do this one. This one is a little long, but we can adjust it as we need. Let's get rid of this. About seven minutes, and leaves you looking younger. I'm kind of just honestly making this up on the spot, so I'm gonna bold those, but then this text is way too small. So let's edit that, and First of all, let's change the font to the same one that's up above. And we're gonna go down and find the font size and we're gonna increase that there. So I want it to be the same size as this order form, but I'm gonna change this order form really quick because this book is an ebook. We do not need shipping information. So what I'm gonna do is it says right here, hide step one. I actually want to see step one. So I'm gonna go show me step one and I don't want this to be shipping. I'm gonna just do personal info. Where to ship book? Let's sh maybe we can just reiterate what we said above. Personal information. Let's go into advanced. Okay, so I'm gonna see this toggle shipping. I'm gonna go hide shipping, and that's going to make the form a lot smaller. So now we can make this text just a little bit smaller to fit the frame here. I like that. Go to step two. And then we have your info, which is your billing info. So that all looks great. I'm going to delete this row. Oh, I could change this button color. So if I want to do that, I'd go into the settings, scroll down here to the button color and select that purple. So it, things kind of have the same color scheme. And I really like this because that is very similar to what I have going on here. So maybe we can try and do that, except I want to get rid of this and this. Now this is just personal preference. The beauty about using a template is you can do whatever you want. And we're going to go ahead and add in a headline. And what did I say? Uh, here's why you should get this. All right, so we can do, do I have that in my, oh, I like this. You're going to love Beauty of Food. And I'm just gonna copy and paste that in. Oh, let's change this O. And let's change the font. So I'm gonna go into the settings. I know I'm moving more quickly, but feel free to go back and watch the video or watch certain things over again. If you're confused, that is going to be great. So we're gonna do that. And now let's move into this section. So as you guys can see, I changed these things already. I wanted to take some time and do that. If not, this video is going to be years long and you guys don't need to see that. And there are also some other important things I wanna make sure I cover in this video that you guys need to know if you're gonna build funnels on ClickFunnels. So I'm pretty much done designing this page, but what I want to do 
is edit the action of this button. So whenever you're adding buttons into your ClickFunnels account, you always need to set an action. So these are all of the actions that you can do. Because this one is highlighted green, that means that this button has this action. But I want to actually go to this one and scroll to row or section on the page. So what I'm gonna do is when someone clicks this, I want it to bring them back up to this form. So I'm going to do something pretty sneaky that I wish I would have known when I first started building funnels. So I'm gonna to go to the settings of this row. I'm gonna click get CSS info and I'm gonna name this row order form, okay? No one's gonna see that, but I just want to be able to name it because this is gonna make this next step 10 times easier. So then I'm gonna go into the settings for the button, click set action, and I want it to go to scroll to row or section on the page. So then I'm gonna go to the, this drop down menu, menu and I'm gonna go ahead and click order form. Because I've named it, it's now easy to find in this stuff. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to hit save. Oh, I need to log in really quick. So I'm just gonna do the sign back in. Okay, so now that I've logged back in and now that I've saved it, I would recommend that you guys save pretty often while you guys build. But what I can do now is go into preview and this is what my customers will see when they come to this funnel. So you've got the attention grabbing headline, what it, they're getting, the cost, and then what it is. They can fill out the order form right there. And then they have these three things here. And so when I click on this, it will bring them back up to the page. So that's what that button action does. You may be wondering, all right, if you want it to submit the information, great, don't worry, that's awesome. And it will automatically take them to the next step in the funnel. So that's kind of how that all works. Now, a couple of things on this page I wanna make sure you know. If you look up here in the top left, you'll see where it says mobile. Click on that and that's where you can go and edit and make sure your funnel looks good for the mobile version. So you like this text is way too big. So what I would do is go and adjust the font there. If you guys wanna learn more about optimizing your funnels for mobile, I have another video on this channel that I will link for you, but that's where you go and look at it there. As far as the settings for this funnel, integrations, if you want to have someone added to an email list, for example, after they fill out this funnel page, then you can do that here and set up the integration. So I use Active Campaign for my emails, so I can do that, add them to a list. That's where all of that happens. And then SEO metadata is where you go and name the page. So this is what pops up in the tabs on people's desktop when they're searching. So you can add a title, a description, some keywords if you'd like, your name. This is again helping you more with SEO and this gives you a preview of what it looks like. If you go here into the settings, again, tracking code, you don't necessarily need to deal with custom CSS. That's only used if you are doing custom coding. Background, you can add an image for the entire funnel and then adjust it specifically for different sections. So you can do that here so you're not adding the same image on every background. So that's what they did for this one. So this image right here, this light little grid pattern, they added that in here just like you would add in any image that I showed you guys like for this. So you can do that there. Typography has just a lot to do with, you know, the font and the general colors that you can do. And then general is the last one you need to know about. So on submit, go to, you can have, if you're going to a different website or a next step in the funnel, you can add the link for that funnel there and I'll show you guys where to get that link. But if you have any digital assets you would like them to download, you can add, uh, select that there, but I have none at the moment. And then affiliate badge is the little badge in the corner. Decide if you want that to be on or off and search engine. So that's kind of what you need to know for those settings. And then you can also add a pop-up. So if you wanna do show pop-up or edit settings, you can do that there. So if they click a button, one of the actions you can do on that button, if we go into the settings, is open the pop-up. So if you have a pop-up and let's say you had the order form on the pop-up, you could do that. And again, remember to constantly save and you can preview it and that's what your customers are going to see when they visit your funnel. So that is an overview of this funnel page. Now let's go and check out our second funnel page. To go and edit the second page in our funnel, I'm gonna go down here and click on edit page and it's going to open it in a new tab because I clicked command before hitting edit page. So then I can still have this main page open so I'm going to go over into this page. Now 
there's not much I need to do to this page. So this is what the template already gives me. So if let's say I was selling this beauty of food and I had other products, I could offer them here. And that's what that means by an offer wall. So I'm not going to pay attention to this. I'll probably just leave this here. So that's something you can do in the future and something I would recommend doing. But I kind of want to get rid of this. So what I want to do is move this around a little bit because I like this order completed. So I'm going to move this element down here. He actually right there and actually what I'm going to do is add a new row with one column so then I can move this element so you can see this all these elements are in this one row with this blue border but I want to move this to a different row so it is centered on the page and I like this so I'm gonna move that underneath so you can tell it's moving by the solid orange bar so I want that underneath and I'm going to also use this because I want it to be like a confirmation. People know, all right, my order went through, but I'm going to get rid of this. And let's go ahead and change the color for this so it all matches. I'm going to do the purple I was using on the other page. And this is honestly really all you have to do for that order confirmation page is let them know that it went through, you're good. If you're emailing in them the product, you can let them know here like, hey, go check your email inbox or this right here. This is an element and it says dynamically updated. So that means like right now we haven't gone through and actually bought something, but when they do, this will be the name of your product, which is really cool. And then granted, you could either delete this or if you had diff other products you wanted people to check out before leaving your funnel, you could do that and push them into other funnels with this feature. So that's really cool. Again, you're gonna go ahead and save that and then you can preview it. Order completed, thank you for your order. Below is the summary for your purchase. I would probably increase the white space here because I didn't notice that when I was editing the page, but that P for the completed kind of runs over that Y, so I could change the space there. So what I would do is go into this element here and increase the top margin. And what you wanna do is make sure you save it again before you preview it because if you don't save it, before previewing it, it will just show you the old changes and not the new updated ones. So that's kind of what you need to know. Again, you can do the mobile version there and do all the settings that you need for that. I wanted to show you guys a few more really important things when it comes to building funnels in ClickFunnels. So the first thing is that link. So each funnel page has a link and that link can be found up here by this little gear. That is the link that you can go and share with other people. Now, if you add in a domain, it will update that and put that through here on the link. But if you wanted to share this funnel with someone else, this is the link you would give them. Now, if you want to update this funnel step settings, right, this is specifically for the step. If you're doing the entire funnel, that's you access those at the settings. So you can change the step name, the path, so that is the link, and then do anything else you wanted to here. And so if I go back into overview, that's important. So if you wanted to get the link for specifically the offer wall page, you go click on that page and wait till it's highlighted. And that is the link you are going to give people. That's something that's really important to know. If I go back here to this sales letter order form, this is an order template. And you can see here, I now have a tab called products. Now on the offer wall, since this is an order confirmation page, I do not have that tab. So products is not in there. So if I'm going to go back to that, this is where you add the product so it shows up dynamically updated on the form and is something that will help you integrate it with Stripe and actually collect money. So if you go click on products, now you're gonna go ahead and click on add product and follow all the steps they give you and that will help you add a product to sell in ClickFunnels. So that's really important too. If you're selling anything, you need to be adding a product. If you're just collecting email addresses, you do not need to worry about that and do not need to make it an order form but that is something to pay attention to. And if you guys are looking to add your domain or figure out other account settings, you can do that by going to the top and clicking on account settings and just go and find what you need. ClickFunnels has a ton of articles out there with support. There's also plenty of videos on my channel and other people's channels that can help you out. And they also have a pretty great support team that you can reach out to by this button right here from this point you would go and integrate your Stripe account. It's totally free to sign up for Stripe and the way Stripe gets paid is they take a percentage of what you make through every single funnel and through each sale. So you'd go and integrate that. You'd go and put your funnel into test mode. So if I go into my settings for the funnel, 
and scroll down to where it says Stripe. So I would select the Stripe account I wanted to use and click test mode on. And then what I would go and do is go back to my steps and I would copy this link, go do it in an incognito Chrome window, and then go through and buy your product. So because it's in test mode, they'll give you a credit card number that you can use. And it obviously doesn't actually take any money away from you, but it allows you to see if the funnel's working and if everything is set up properly. So you'd go copy the link of the first page in your funnel, go test it in an incognito window, make sure it's in test mode if you're buying anything and go test it from there. If you're putting in an email address, make sure that shows up there and that the stats show that someone went through the funnel and if you made any sales that it shows up and everything is showing up the way it's supposed to. So that way when real customers come through, you are getting paid. So there you guys go, an entire funnel built in ClickFunnels. And as you guys can see, once you have an idea of kind of what you wanna do in ClickFunnels, it is really easy to drag and drop and build things in there. And so even if you're a beginner, you have no tech experience, no design experience, you can build a funnel in ClickFunnels. If you have not grabbed your free trial for ClickFunnels, there will be a link down below. It will give you two weeks to try the software out and see if you really enjoy it. And again, my philosophy is that first couple funnels you build, yeah, they might be crap Happy, but with more practice, you're going to get better at building funnels. If you guys like this video, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help support my channel so much and I put out new videos twice a week. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will catch you on the next video. Bye dudes.